Hey guys, some dude with dolls here, and uh, just a quick little tutorial of sorts. Uh, basically, uh, discussing uh, putting on certain dresses that are tight in the arms. Uh, a lot of people uh, don't realize that if you're careful enough, uh, for example, this is a uh, Disney Store princess body. I did swap the heads out. This is a Hasbro uh, Ariel Disney doll. Uh, and as you can see, the sleeve on this particular dress uh, is kind of tight. It's hard to uh, get over the hand if you don't know uh, how to finagle it well enough. But uh, you don't have to. If you're careful enough and you don't just rip it out, uh, the Disney Store hands are removable. Just careful, just kind of twist and twist and, and little up. And as you can see, it's just a little, little pop. And then the sleeve can go on and on off the sleeve, no problem. And then getting it in, you just be careful. Aim the peg. Actually, and the sleeve will work against you in this particular moment. So just roll the sleeve back. That way you're working with just the arm. And there we go. Popped back in and voila. And even easier, and a lot of people didn't realize, because it doesn't really come with uh, directions like Monster High Dolls or Ever After High Dolls that says like, oh well, uh, this limb can come out, this limb can come out. So uh, this is a made to move uh, Barbie doll body uh, that I'm using for my Snow White custom. The hands come out very easily. Again, you just kind of carefully snap them out. Hello, pigs. And another cool thing about the doll, the made-to-move doll bodies, is the feet come off. So, there we go. And you just do the same thing. And I, that's probably for, um, tight pants or leggings of some kind for the dolls that um, it just, sometimes they just don't fit over the foot. And same thing, I would, I would bend the peg back towards the ankle to give you some support and you just snap it back in there and there she goes. And that's just a, a quick little insight on how I get the dresses and certain other outfits on, on certain doll bodies. Uh, a lot of people probably figured out the made to move bodies. Um, they're a lot cooler and a lot uh, more flexible. And like I said, the hands and the legs uh, pop off. So it makes it easier for certain outfits to come on and off. And the Disney princess bodies uh, also and their hands come off. The legs don't need to because they're the Barbie type legs. So no reason to uh, take the legs off. <laughs> but yeah, so now you know. Next time you find that uh, outfit that just does not want to go over the doll's hands and it keeps catching on some kind of thread or something and you just don't want to rip a hole in the sleeve or in the pant leg and if you have these particular dolls, uh, just carefully remove the arms or the feet, uh, feet only of the made to move Barbie doll. Uh, and there you have it. And uh, if you like this video, uh, please hit like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, this was just a quick little tutorial. I plan on actually doing a uh, do it yourself doll backgrounds. I have two that I use. They're not the greatest, but a lot of people ask like what have I used? How am I doing it? So I'm willing to share that information. 
and uh, stay tuned for updates and uh, that should be my next video is the do-it-yourself uh, background and uh, we'll go from there so thanks for watching this has been some dude with dolls and see you next time <laughs>